let's start with President Biden's schedule today. Put it on up there. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You got no schedule today. Ah, what a life, huh? Life of Riley, they used to say. Remember that? Life of Riley. It was actually a TV show in the 50s starring William Bendix. Uh, what I'm going to do tomorrow, just um, because I think you might be interested to see it, is I'm going to put up uh, President Biden's schedule, as we do every day, but I'm going to then put President Trump's schedule a year earlier, day to day. I'm going to put them up so you uh, can contrast and, and see what's happening. And we have no idea what Donald Trump did um, this time last year. We don't know. So it'll be interesting to Okay, so uh, I told you last night we did not know why uh, Mr. Biden was traveling back home to Wilmington, Delaware. Nobody really cared to ask. But I was curious, and uh, he attended a wake of a woman named Norma Long, who uh, worked for him for more than 30 years. And the president went to the funeral home, spent about an hour there with the family and friends of Ms. Long, which was a good thing. I'm not going to criticize him, of course, for that. I mean, it's a family friend, 30 years. So uh, now I am going to criticize uh, Joe Biden in a very, very hard way. And I didn't want to have to do this. I did not want to. But I have to now because it's getting to be uh, a public safety issue in the sense that you're in danger and I'm in danger. We're in physical danger because of the president of the United States. All right. And I'm going to run it down, as I always do, in a very methodical, fact based way. First of all, there is a bill that's been passed by the House called the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. You may have heard of it, covered it a little bit yesterday. Basically, the bill would just handcuff police all over the United States, all right, to do what the federal government wants them to do. And if the individual police departments or sheriff's departments did not do it, they would be denied federal money. Okay. The big thing is that this would end what they call qualified immunity which means that police officers, deputies, anybody in law enforcement, anyone could be sued by the very criminals they arrest for anything they want. And as you know, and as we pointed out yesterday, there are sleazy lawyers lined up from here on Long Island to Santa Monica, California, to get these cases into the system on a contingency basis, which would mean criminal wouldn't have to pay anything or, or the person suing the cop wouldn't have to pay anything. All right. And if the lawyer gets a settlement from the state or the county or the city or the town, whatever it may be, the lawyer takes 50 percent or whatever. That's how this con works. And it's you see it all over the place. This is how our justice system works. Now, this is corruption at the highest level um, because most people can't afford to hire lawyers. Certainly police officers can to defend themselves against anything that a person could make up, fabricate. Now, I'm not saying there isn't police abuse. There is. But here, who's going to regulate it? No one. So therefore, any sane person would not become a police officer under those circumstances because you'll be bankrupt. And therefore, our criminal justice system will collapse. Joe Biden supports this. He wants this. He will sign that law if the Senate passes it. Now, I don't think the Senate will pass it. I can't imagine Joe Manchin and Cinema in... Uh, in Arizona voting for it. I can't imagine that. OK, but Americans are in completely in the dark on this. You know, because you watch and listen to me. But it's not being reported to any extent on any of the network or cable newscasts. But Biden is waiting to sign this bill. This is the same Joe Biden who in the Senate in 1993 said this. Go president is very, very straightforward and simple. He knows there are two basic steps here. One step is you must take back the streets. And you take back the streets by more cops, more prisons, more physical protection for the people. And now Biden wants to strip physical protection for the people. Now he's talking about President Clinton there. And Clinton did sign a very tough criminal bill in 19. 94, which led, directly led, to the decline of crime in America over the decades. Then, in 2013, Biden was back at it. Will it take? 
An awful lot of the gun violence in America is a consequence of gangbangers, the drug trade, uh, uh, stolen weapons, weapons that are, are in, uh, uh, you know, in, in the black market. And that's why I continue to push for a continuation of the so-called Biden crime bill as it relates to cops. We think we need another 15,000 law enforcement officers on the street nationwide. Okay, so now he's the exact opposite, 180 degrees opposite. Biden has just sold out his whole principle philosophy that Americans need to be protected. All right. It's gone because he's woke, because the progressives now control him. He's in their pocket. And now we have a dangerous man in the White House. They thought Donald Trump was dangerous. They tried to sell that he was dangerous. He didn't do anything out of the ordinary there. He governed in a very traditional way, Donald Trump did. This guy, Biden, he's a radical leftist. And I don't know if he knows it or not. I don't care. He's putting me, my family, and all my friends, he's putting you in the same circumstance, in danger. Look at the stats. All you got to do is look at the crime stats. City after city after city after city. Violent crime, murders, shootings, rapes, everything up. And this guy wants to sign the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, where he would gut every single police agency in the country? This is dangerous. And how are Americans responding? They're buying guns. Millions and millions and millions of guns. Isn't this ironic? The progressive left wants to strip all gun rights, would eliminate the Second Amendment if they could. And what have they done? They've driven Americans to buy a record amount of firearms. You try to buy it here in New York, it's very hard. They're sold out. Ammunition sold out. All right, because Americans are catching on. This federal government not going to protect us at all. So I am really, really angry now. At first it was... Well, Biden may be a joke. Well, Biden's misguided. Well, Biden doesn't really understand what he's doing. Now he's dangerous. And I don't care whether he understands what he's doing or not. I don't know what he's doing today. Not doing anything that's on his schedule. But I don't care. He's a dangerous man. He's dangerous. And that has got to be said. It's got to get out there. Now, the progressive left, they want the deterioration of policing so he can build up a new woke police force that doesn't really enforce the law. It tries to heal the damage that America has done to the criminals. The criminals are the victims, not the people they murder or sell heroin to. No, no, no. The criminals, because their ancestors were slaves. Don't you understand that? Okay. They never had a chance. We have to, we can't punish them. No. Oh, it is just unbelievable. I see this so clearly, and I know you do. Fellow Americans, I am concerned about the U.S. dollar. Huge debt, as you know. Will it stay as the world's reserve currency? That's why now more than ever, I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. And the only company I recommend and have for years it's American Hartford Gold. I trust them. I've personally done business with them. They sell physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. And they make it very easy. So call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. And they will give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold shot up more than 40%. Silver, more than 60%. So don't wait. Call them now. 866-501-5201, 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532, again, that's 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video, and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below 
and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.